chanting in Islam. Children are a blessing and a gift from Allah. Children are a blessing and a gift from Allah. Parenting in Islam. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyid al-Anbiya wa al-Mursaleen. Amma ba'd, fa'a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Dear viewers of Madani Channel We welcome you to another episode of our series Parenting in Islam Let's start our episode by listening to an excellence of reciting Salat ala nabi sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa alihi wa sallam And after listening to this excellence Make sure you make intentions to recite the road upon the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam in abundance if possible every day. Dear viewers, Umar Nishan, the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has stated, undoubtedly, Allah azza wa jal has appointed an angel to my grave who has been granted the ability to hear the voice of every creature. Hence, whoever recites salat upon me until the day of judgment the angel presents to me that person's name along with his father's name and says, so and so, son of so and so, has recited salat upon you this time. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal, Subhanallah Azza wa Jal, dear viewers of Madani Channel, how fortunate indeed is the salat reciter that his name along with his father's name is presented in the blessed court of the beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. This point is also a highly faith enlightening point that the blessed angel appointed to the most sacred grave has been granted such a great power and ability of hearing that he can even listen to the extremely slow voice of millions and millions of Salat reciters across the world. Then imagine when this is the hearing power of someone appointed at the blessed tomb for carrying out services, then what will be the greatness and eminence of the greatest Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam? Why will he sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam not recognize his devotees? And why would he sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam not help them after listening to their pleas with the permission of Allah Almighty? Subhanallah Azza wa Jal Mai qurba is adai dastgiri par mere aqa Madad ko aagaye jab bhi pukara Ya Rasulallah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam Subhanallah Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam Dear viewers of Madani Channel Now that we've heard the blessings of reciting durood upon the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam We should make the intention and also teach our children that they should recite durood upon the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam in abundance in order to gain countless blessings. Before moving towards our topic that is modeling positive behavior for children, let's make some good intentions. Dear viewers of Madani channel, the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has stated that as a believer's intention is better than his action. Therefore, before doing any good deed, we should make more and more good intentions. Insha'Allah, the more good intentions we make, the more award we will attain. Firstly, make the basic good intention that you will listen to this episode to gain the pleasure of Allah Almighty, to learn the Islamic teachings about parenting. Also make the intention that you will listen to this episode from the very beginning till the end. And whenever you hear Sallu al Habib, you will recite Durood upon the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. Sallu al Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam Dear viewers of Madani channel, it is important to note that our words do not impact the behavior of children as much as our actions do. Children take impression and so naturally their world view and character are shaped by the behavior of their parents. Your smile for example teaches your child how to express happiness 
and how to deal with sadness will set a model for your child to follow when facing a similar situation. One unfortunate reality of our society is its ingrained hypocrisy whereby parents will live with negative characteristics yet wish to see a positive character in their children. All too often, parents will act out their anger and use foul language yet expect their children to be good-mannered or they will make carefree and responsible decisions all the while expecting their children to be responsible. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. In short, it is these double standards that have left many of today's generation away from good character, rendering them of lazy habits. In short, it is these double standards that have left many of today's generation away from good character and full of lazy characteristics. The following example should be heard carefully and treated as benchmarks against which we scrutinize our parenting. Parents will readily preach to their children about the importance of helping others, yet when that child asks his parents for help with something like homework, they claim to be busy. The only lesson the child will take away from this incident is that you should only help others if it is convenient for you. Although a child may be told to speak the truth, but when he sees this advice being contradicted, for example, when his father's friends visit or calls, the father says that the father is not at home. There is only one lesson that the child learns. Lying is acceptable if it benefits you. Parents may constantly warn their child about the adverse outcomes of anger, but when the child witnesses his parents constantly arguing, cursing and fighting, this experience would lead him to one conclusion. Foul language and violence are acceptable ways of one's anger and dealing in difficult situations. When a task is appointed to a child, he is instructed to complete the task on time, but he observes that when his grandfather gives a task to his father, delays the job for about three to four days. This results in the child thinking that punctuality is unimportant. Dear viewers on the channel, now ask yourself, what are your children learning from your actions? If parents want their children to be people of good character, then the parents must first rectify their own characteristics and character and improve their behavior and lifestyle choices. Dear viewers of Madhuri Channel, we conclude this episode with a question that is, what are your children learning from your actions? Please ponder upon it and we also make dua in the court of Allah Azza wa Jal. May Allah Almighty grant us tawfiq to adopt good character and also grant us the tawfiq to teach our children the Islamic principles. Ameen. Bijahin Nabi Nabi Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wa Sallam. Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal, we'll be back with another episode Keep watching Madani Channel. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Parenting in Islam. Children are a blessing and a gift from Allah. Children are a blessing and a gift from Allah. Parenting in Islam.